Hey, good morning YouTube. Uh, today we're gonna make a little experiment. We will find out if uh, a RAM upgrade in your self-built or pre-built PC that you just bought, maybe medium spec, you know, not the fanciest, but like my, what, $800 PC here behind me, if a RAM upgrade actually makes a difference. I currently have 16 gigabyte of this same stuff here, this is Corsair Vengeance LPX, uh, runs, it's DDR4, uh, runs at 3200 megahertz. And I haven't overclocked it or anything, it just runs at, it, at its uh, uh, stock specifications. Currently have a kit of two 8 gigabyte sticks in there and uh, I have two empty slots. So I'm currently running this in slot A2 and B2 for dual channel. Uh, and I'm going to try to fill the remaining two slots with the same exact brand and model of RAM and then see if we can get it running at the same uh, clock speed and also all the same latencies and all that stuff um, and see if that makes any difference on performance. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not a computer YouTuber usually. Uh, I don't have all the purchased uh, a benchmark program so we're just going to use a selection of free uh, benchmarks that you can download yourself so there's 3d mark time spy that i have uh, we can use a, a version of blender to see if uh, it has effect on video rendering uh, we can use uh, superposition which is a little bit older uh, 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 benchmark but it tests out a GPU and CPU and then we're going to see if this really makes any significant difference. So first we're going to run it without the upgrade and then I'm going to swap those in and I'm not going to change any settings so the computer is going to be untouched. The only change that we're going to make is adding those two sticks. All right let's get started with that. All right guys so I chose Cinebench 3D Mark Time Spy and uh, Superposition as the benchmarks that we're going to try out. Alright guys, 
Uh, single coil 1046. Uh, I guess with a little bit overclocking, I had a better score before 12, 1208. Um, let's see what that says. Uh, doesn't really tell me what the different settings were. Anyways, so that's the comparison. We had a 8625 multi score and a 1046 single score. And now we're gonna do 3D spy, uh, time spy. Alrighty guys, uh, we got a time spy score of 4357. I know that's not super great, but it will give us a comparison. And now we're going to start the superposition benchmark. All right, so now we have completed the entire run. We have uh, a, we have a Cinebench result. We have a 3D Mark Time Spy result, and the Superposition result is 8,948. Now we're gonna do the hardware upgrade, and then we're gonna see if that changes anything. All right, guys, we're gonna uh, put this in here. Vengeance LPX DDR4, two times eight gigabyte, 3,200 megahertz. Uh, the original kit is in the A2 and B2 slot and we have the A1 and the B1 open um, here on this ASRock board um, it only has one movable clip so that was a little confusing the first time I put this in there gotta make sure you put it in in the wrong, uh, the, wrong the right orientation oh my goodness My goodness. Okay, now we got it in. So yeah, one side clippy, one side stationary is really not that easy to get in. I don't know what why they have to change that design that was in use in computers for so long and go to something else. I don't think this is better. Okay, making sure the other ones are also still in there. Okay, now we have 32 gigabyte of DDR4 RAM in there. I will hook it up and then we're gonna go into the BIOS real quick. So now we're in the UEFI, the Unified Extensible Firmware Interface, uh, just to verify that we have the RAM that we just installed. Uh, so total memory 32 gigabyte. It shows DDR4 at 3200. Uh, let's go over to the advanced. So the XMP profile that I picked when I installed the uh, first set of 16 um, is this one here. All the latencies are 16, 18, 18, 36 at 1.35 volts. And the same profile is selected now for all four sticks. Nothing has changed. And I I would say it's probably gonna work. And now we're gonna start Cinebench and let that run multi-score first 
and see what the result is. Earlier we had 8,625. We'll see where we end up. All right, final results are in. Oh, a slight improvement, 8,651. So we increased by 26 points. All right, now we're gonna run the single core. Alrighty guys, um, single core Cinebench R23 has not changed at all. It's the same score, 1046, which is pretty sad. But uh, yeah, so that's that. Alright, we're gonna run uh, the 3D Mark Time Spy now. We'll see if that has any kind of improvements. All right, there's the result, 4,336. Um, I don't think that's a large improvement to the earlier run. We'll see in the final results. And now we're gonna run the Unigen Superposition Benchmark. Oh, on this benchmark we actually see a slight improvement in score at least 9005 we were in the 8000s earlier all right so i'm going to crunch the numbers now 
put it all in at some some sort of presentable format and then we're gonna uh, close out this video alrighty guys I crunched the numbers and put it all in a nice graph for you red is 32 gigabyte green is 16 gigabyte and as you can see at least with a choice of benchmarks that I used for this comparison we're not seeing huge uh, gains or increases in performance super position benchmark had a slight improvement 3d mark time spy we actually lost a few points cinebench multi-core we gained a few points and cinebench single core absolutely no change so uh, my takeaway of this whole comparison is unless you have a very specific reason to do this upgrade and spend an extra 70 80 bucks or maybe by now 100 bucks uh, to add another 16 gigabyte to your machine uh, it's probably not going to pay off if you do a lot of video editing or photo rendering or stuff like that uh, you might need it uh, but that depends on your specific situation there might also be a situation in the future where games come out that are more RAM hungry than what we currently have so uh, here in my case the $70 that I spent for another kit probably didn't pay off but it's gonna stay in there um, every time I make changes to my computer setup I want to make a short little video about it I hope you enjoyed it I hope you got something out of it um, and uh, if you like it please give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos from Heiko's Garage just subscribe to my channel click the little bell to get notified and uh, there's going to be more videos in the future random topics usually I'm uh, the more mechanically inclined person and not so much working with computers but occasionally I want to uh, make some computer related videos as well righty guys uh, once again thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one bye